with the nation still at a gripping point after the withdrawal of the fuel subsidy. Analysts say the revenue mobilization, allocation and fiscal commission's approved review of political office orders' annual basic salary by 114% completely defies the overriding need to reduce the cost of governance. The RMEFC is saddled with the responsibility of determining the remuneration that's appropriate for political office holders, including the president, vice president, governors, deputy governors, ministers, commissioners, special advisors, legislators, and the holders of the offices as mentioned in section 84 and 124 of this constitution. On the flip side, some have argued that the review of the political office holders' remuneration is long overdue with the last implementation done in 2008. But this proposal seems somewhat disturbing for the optics, as some argue that the take-home allowances and perks of the political office holders is too outrageous compared to the national minimum wage. Meanwhile, controversies have been trailing the announcement of the review of the public office holders' remuneration. Arise News got in touch with the chairman RMFC, Mr. Sheo Mohammed, who explained that the commission is only reviewing the annual basic salary, which was last reviewed 15 years ago. I don't think the National Assembly and Senators earn an outrageous amount of money. I've said this publicly. The salary of a senator or member of House of Reps is about, uh, senator is about a million. A million Are you a talking little about bit. the basic salary or the ba package? Basic salary and allowances. However, there is what they call operating uh, funds, you know, for running the office. If you are elected senator representing Lagos West, for instance, you have to have a constituency office. I don't know how many in your state. You have to hire some people to man that office. You have to have uh, equipments, computers, and others, you know, and uh, depending upon the size of your constituency. Now, in other societies, that has nothing to do with the senator. There is already a structure whereby the system takes care of all those things and provided is still cost of governance. But here, from what I understand the National Assembly did, they monetize this and they give the senator that amount of money and at the end of the year, I think he retires it by bringing receipts and other things. So Nigerians can advocate for take your basic salary and take your allowances but leave the issue of constituency offices, uh, workers in the constituency offices, equipments and others, leave it to the structure of the system. For others, they feel it's time the federal government adopted the Steve Aronsoy's report on the need to merge some agencies like the National Wages and Salary Commission and the RMEFC that have duplicate functions just like many other agencies of government. While the Bola led federal government has promised to look into the review of the national minimum wage, it seems a desperate situation for public servants who appears to be on the receiving end of the bargain, especially with the current economic realities. Benga Ashiru, Arise News.